When designing interactions, there are several best practices to keep in mind. For groups of buttons, keep like buttons together and make sure that the buttons are visually similar and aligned to the grid. However, you should also be sure that the primary action you want the user to take is distinguishable from the rest of the items. This is particularly true if you're creating an interface that has many possible actions. Another popular interaction design pattern is having certain actions, such as drop-down menus or player controls, appear only when the user hovers over them. This can be very useful as an interaction pattern and can help interfaces remain uncluttered while providing needed functionality. However, make sure you provide alternative interactions, such as having the functionality appear on a single tap, for mobile users, as hover states don't work on touch devices. Another way of presenting interactions on an interface is to provide a control panel, such as an inspector. This can be presented as a side panel of options when the user clicks a button, or it can be a series of icons with labels organized at the top or bottom of the interface. The focus in control panels is to group related actions into specific categories and to allow the user to expand those categories as needed rather than trying to present them all at once.